YouTube, it's Christopher. Got a very cool guitar here for you today. This is a Reverend Double Agent W guitar in Italian purple finish. This is a very, very cool guitar. I just picked this up today from Manchester Music Mill in Manchester, New Hampshire. What we have here is a Corina body. It's a solid body, no, not hollowed out. Uh, we have a Wilkinson WSV or WVS 52K tremolo. And these are very cool trims. The, uh, the saddles lock down to the bridge assembly, which makes it a lot sol more solid than a standard uh, tremolo. For pickups, this thing has, um, what are they called? Pickups, anybody? An HA5 bridge and a 9A5 neck. So I'm guessing the A5 is standing for Alnico 5 uh, magnets. Uh, we got a roasted maple neck, 25 and a half inch scale length. The neck profile is called a medium oval. And I'm here to tell you it is extremely comfortable. This neck is what really sold me on this guitar. I thought it was very cool looking, uh, but as soon as I picked it up and, held, and felt that neck, it's incredible. Uh, very satiny and smooth finish on the back here. Uh, it's got a 43 millimeter, uh, millimeter wide uh, bonite nut. I don't know what that means. It's probably a synthetic bone. Uh, for controls, we got a one, two, three-way switch. Almost said five. We got a three-way switch. We have volume, tone, and then we have what they call a base contour knob. And this is very interesting. This lets your guitar have quite a bit of difference in the uh, bass response. And I'll show that to you in a minute. Um, it didn't come with a case, uh, and I'm okay with that at this price. Um, this is just over a thousand bucks. Most people would think, well, you should get a gig bag. But when you feel this guitar and the quality that's going on, on in it, it's, it's substantial. We got a six bolt plate in the back with the Reverend R. There's your trim plate or trim cover plate. Roasted maple neck. We've got locking tuners on here that are Reverend's own brand, but I love the tops of them, they're just a straight billet of steel on the top. So there's no contour to it, which I kind of dig. I love the way they look. I really like, now I'm no fan of string trees, but if you're gonna do a string tree, that's the way to do it. That's a very cool design. That's gonna probably be fairly slippery for the guitar strings to slide past um, because this, does have a very good tremolo on it. The Wilkinson is nothing to uh, to slouch on. It's a great bridge. Um, I love the fact that there's a P90 in the bridge uh, in the neck position. I, I love P90 pickups. If you ever saw my Yamaha videos, I love those P90 pickups. This pickup is very interesting. So let's go listen to the tones on this thing. So of course, as usual, I'm going through my uh, Archetype Petrucci from Neural DSP as per the standard. So here's the bridge pickup with the bass contour turned all the way up. Okay, so it's pegged. So here's what that sounds like. turn the bass contour down all the way. So here's fully up and here's down. So you can hear it does a lot.
So there's so many tones that you can get right there, just in that knob. You can really play with your low frequencies. And I think that's a very cool feature to have. Uh, probably won't use it all the time, but man, if you need it during recording, maybe you're blooming too much in your low end, just turn that down a little bit, problem solved. <laughs> Sounds awesome. So that's the bridge. Here's the middle, which is the bridge and the P90 together. contour down on that too. I really enjoy that. the neck P90 by itself. when it's rolled all the way down, it sounds a little bit more vintage-y. I kind of like that position right there, which is almost halfway. Sounds amazing. Let's hear the sweep of the volume real quick. I wonder if my gate is interfering with that because I can hear it kind of jumping. So I'm going to shut the gate off. So something interesting going on with that volume switch. Kind of like the first half goes up about 25% of the volume, and the second half goes up the rest, the next 75%. It's kind of weird. Hear that? Just sort of kind of jumps up at the end. Interesting. Might need a pot change, I'm not sure. See how it does in the long run for me. Uh, anyways, let's move on to some classic rock tones. Here's my mutton chops patch here. <laughs>
doesn't flutter very good. <laughs> My suspicion is there's three springs in the back. Um, maybe even more, who knows? I haven't looked back there yet. This is brand new. I literally just got it to my house maybe 10 minutes ago. It's very stable tuning wise though, even with the kind of abuse that I'm giving the tremolo. Here's the uh, middle position. hearing too much with some gain on there. Here's the neck. Okay, I do on the neck position for sure. Hear how it does with some high gain. Oh, her majestic boom is the name of the patch. <laughs> prefer it turned down with high gain, the bass contour. Middle position. See what kind of noise this P90 has. It is a little bit. Not a lot. Truth be told, that's pretty good for a P90. man this is a very well-built guitar the quality on this thing is just really kind of astounding the craftsmanship and how it's all put together 
such a tight neck joint. Beautiful finish. It's got an awesome little arm contour in the back here. It just feels kind of next level-ish to me when I hold it. And when I picked it up at the store, I was like, oh. <laughs> Sat down, played it for a couple minutes and was like, done. This is mine. I didn't have very long on it at the store. But just the feel of this instrument is extremely well put together. Um, seriously, try Reverend Guitars. I have slept on these guys for quite some time. I've seen them in the market for many years now, but never really thought that I'd have one. They just, I don't know, it didn't, it didn't seem like something that jumped out at me. But I really dig this body shape. It's, it's different and fairly unique. It's almost... Um, it's almost reminiscent of close to like an EVH Wolfgang shape, but not. <laughs> um, plus the fact that it's got a Wilkinson on there is pretty cool. I love that it's got a P90 in the neck. That's maybe one of my favorite things to have in your neck position. I love the markers too. They're kind of like clay dots. Really nice looking. It's got white uh, mother of pearl dots for the side markers. Standard frets, they're not stainless steel. Um, Overall, just an amazing feeling guitar, this U shape, or, or what do they call it, an oval. This oval is extremely comfortable, especially for fellas like me that I'm a thumb over guy, and I know a lot of people consider that a bad habit, but if you look at all your, all of my guitar heroes, they all played thumb over, so I don't think they did too bad. <laughs> so a lot of people are like, you shouldn't play thumb over, it's a horrible habit. It's like, why? So many people played that way. All the greats. Look at them all. You got Hendrix, Vi, <laughs> Steve Vi, Joe Satriani, all the amazing guitar players. Paul Gilbert, Guthrie Govan. Go watch them. Amazing players all have the thumb over technique. And of course, you, you sometimes have to convert to a thumb in the back guy. But um, I don't know why I'm rambling on about that subject, but I apologize. Get your hands on a reverend. Uh, this is a very high quality guitar. I'm very pleased with the purchase and uh, I think you might might be too So check them out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace